Hello, Martin Mayorga here. Um, I'm gonna answer another question now that I have here on our notes. Um, what's different about being a Latino business owner today versus when you started? A lot's different, a lot. Um, I would go back even to before where I started. What made me really wanna start the business is, um, I felt like Latinos, at least in the 80s when I was uh, growing up in the DC area, we didn't really get respect. You know, I got in a lot of fights as a kid because I didn't speak English and I was learning English and I was trying to assimilate and my house smelled funny to people because my mom was always cooking with garlic and stuff. Um, so maybe put a little bit of a chip on my shoulder, but I think um, for me it was this lack of respect, uh, not only in society, but in the marketplace. Um, and frankly, some of it still exists, but I think society has really opened up more to um, minorities being relevant in the business world and in quality as far as products. Um, still, we have some room for growth. Um, I think more in the grocery shelves and, and different areas. Um, I've faced it personally where I've had buyers tell me that our coffee should go next to the tortillas and beans because in, in the ethnic section because of the, last, of the name of the product. And to me, that's a very, um, not common, but it's unfortunately something that happens a lot, which is if there's ethnic food and then there's specialty food. And the reality is that you can be ethnic, have an ethnic food that actually is um, quality. And that's how I see our coffee. I mean, our coffee is from the countries where we grew up and really all coffee is ethnic, you know? And I think um, this kind of whitewashing of coffee to make it more user-friendly uh, is part of what we try to fight. We want to keep the essence and the kind of pride in the product of what we uh, produce and really showcase the positives of our uh, community. So what's changed is really there's more acceptance. Um, for me personally, I'm more proud to put myself out there and put our company out there as a focus on Latin America and Latinos, and it feels a little safer to do it. Uh, fun fact, the company was originally named Cafe Mayorga, and I had to change the name because literally I had so much pushback for the first five years of the business that I changed from Cafe Mayorga to Mayorga Coffee. So I had to assimilate, and I feel like now we can kind of bring it back towards that Cafe Mayorga vibe and do it a little more comfortably. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, I love seeing more Latinos out there, more people of color out there in the coffee industry. We need to represent the true culture and communities that grow our coffee. And um, anybody else or anybody have any questions or comments down below, share them, ask them, and we'll try to answer them all. Thank you.